Hi to everyone and welcome back. So for today build we are gonna build a small very plastic a temporary settlement for our Nandu Chromatus Brazilian red and white because uh, she's outgrown her uh, actual vivarium and we're gonna do her one temper because I couldn't find one of class that's good for a terrestrial species as we all know um, how the Brazilian red and white is a terrestrial species that sometimes she likes to borrow but most of the time she's outside so for this build we're gonna have plastic container like that for now we're gonna use soldering just the tool so we can do some ventilation on top and on the side of the enclosure I have some mesh with tape on it and with adhesive 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 and no don't worry these are not gonna go inside the enclosure they're gonna be outside so we did her so won't hurt herself or get stuck with the tape so let's begin the build so this is the final product some holes on the top as I mentioned earlier even here I made four to five holes here and I made them mesh because of the isopods because always be good all my variums I always put isopods and springtails in them so they can help as a cleaning crew cleaning crew small holder another holder so we have ventilation from all sides small there and another one here with the mesh uh, three four nine holes so now let's move for the For the mixer, what we have here, this is not magic powder, no, it's not. so we have um, some dry leaves, we have a mix of reposoy, we have, if you can see it down there, acquired husk fiber, cocoa fiber, we have a bit of live moss in it too, and the white tingling sand is the creature sand from 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 Zoomed. Apart from that, we're gonna mix everything up with water, and then we're gonna do uh, some dry spots spawns to to it. We have a core pack. Unfortunately, I don't have any other core pack, so we need to use this one. Make it as a height for her, and obviously we're gonna do um, a bowl of water. So let's mix everything and show you how it done. We have our final product. I added some first floor so it can have a bit of more texture to it. You know what I mean? Just everything is brown. Small cave for her. Bowl of water. Now the next thing that we're gonna do is gonna add our cleanup crew, some isopods, some springtails to it, and then we need to make the beast in her new house. So we have the isopods set there. Now what we're gonna do next is we're gonna spray a bit of water on the substrate. So it'll be a bit. I'm sorry for the lights, but I don't have the appropriate lights for now. Still a beginner, as you can see there. Let's spray it. Like that, it's all sprayed. I have a stick. 
so it can help me. <coughs> Sorry, yeah, to push things around. The reptoside makes it look funny. And I have a transparent acrylic, just in case it might be if she tried to escape. So, and of course, we have a work friendly brush. We have our new enclosure here. There she is. And there we have her guys, in her new enclosure. It wasn't an easy task, but it was worth it. Thank you and see you for the next one guys.